2017 Brazil Open will begin on Monday, February 27th and run through Sunday, March 5th at the Esport Club Paneros in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The tournament is now back outdoors, but still on clay courts, and it was upgraded from the International Series to the World Tour 250 Series in 2009. Two-time defending champion Pablo Cuevas of Uruguay will lead the field into Sao Paulo, and he will be joined by the player he beat in the final, Spain's Pablo Carena Busta, and his countryman, Albert Ramos Vinolas. João Sousa of Portugal will also be there, along with Argentina's Federico de Bonis, who won here in 2014, and Diego Schwartzman, Brazil's Thomas Bellucci, and Italy's Fabio Fognini. Cuevas won his second title of 2016 with a straight sets win over Carina Busta, and his second win here put him level with Brazil's Gustavo Curtin. The record belongs to Spain's Nicolas Almagro, who won this tournament three times. On the doubles side, the doubles title was won by Chile's Julio Peralta and Argentino's Horacio Zeballos, who won their first tournament of the year in three sets over Carena Busta and fellow Spaniard David Morena. Only one team has won this event more than once, and that is the Czech Republic team of Lucas Delaui and Pavel Visner. Brazil's Bruno Soares won in three straight years with three different partners to hold the overall record. The points are given out equally for singles and doubles in this tournament. From the winners to the quarterfinals, it is 250 points for winning, 150 for the finals, 90 for the semifinals, and 45 points for the quarterfinals, which is where it ends for doubles. On the single side, it is then 20 points for the round of 16, 12 for the final qualifier, and 6 for the second qualifier. For prize money, the singles champion gets $81,000 plus. Then it is almost $43,000 for the finals, $23,000 and change for the semifinals, $13,000 plus for the quarterfinals, almost $8,000 for the round of 16, $4,500 for the round of 32, $2,000 for the second qualifier, and $1,000 for the first qualifier. On the double side, it is $24,500 to the winners, almost $13,000 for the finals, $7,000 for the semifinals, $4,000 for the quarterfinals, and almost $2,500 for the round of 16. There are two different ways to bet on tennis. You can bet on the outright winner of the tournament, and you can bet on who will win each individual matchup. You can place a bet on tennis by clicking on tennis, then ATP for men's, or WTA for women's, prior to the tournament, and there you will find a list of players to bet on to win the tournament. If a player is listed at positive odds of, for example, plus 200, that means that they are an underdog in the tournament, and you could win $200 by placing a $100 wager on that player. But if you have a player with a negative sign in front of their odds, for example, odds of minus 150, that means that they are a favorite to win the tournament, and you would have to bet $150 to win $100 on that player. The second way to bet on tennis is the daily matchups between two players, where you only have to choose who will win the matchup between the two listed players. Sometimes one player may be favored over the other, indicated by negative odds, or the odds could be even on the players. You use the same rules as with the tournament winner with plus and minus odds to calculate your payoff for each and every matchup. Subscribe now so you won't miss any of our ATP or WTA tennis tournament videos. And to get the updated betting odds video where we give you our free picks and predictions on the tournament. Click over now to check out all the ATP and WTA tennis odds on the board. Make a few wagers with BetDSI.com and enjoy the tournament.